Growing up on the coastline of Australia, as most of us do, I was always fascinated with the iconic Australian image of the prospector. A lone figure wheeling his tool-laden handcart through the desert, it's a romantic image that conjures the pioneering sense of adventure that gave West Australia its start. Known as the mother of the West Australian goldfields, Coolgardie is a fantastic little town with a big history. Now only approximately 800 people live here, but in its heyday, the town boasted a sizeable 15,000 occupants. In the 1890s, Coolgardie was the third largest town in the colony. I've come to Coolgardie, a gold rush town steeped in history, to take a step back in time and see what life was like for our Aussie battlers fixated on gold. I'm going to visit the mecca of memories that is the Goldfields Exhibition Museum. This place is chock full of artefacts, installations and photographs from the mining era. The Waghorn Bottle Collection is both impressive and beautiful, a must see. When you come to Coolgardie, a gold rush town in the middle of the desert, well, the last thing you expect to see is a, is a diving suit. See, an Italian miner by the name of Modesto Varoschetti was trapped underground for 10 days, just in an air pocket while the water lapped at his heels. The only way they could get him out was to send divers down. They got him out, alive and safe. Now, I'm keen to find out how prospectors explored this vast region. The gold fields was forged on the back of thousands of men, women, and camels. Camels were such a part of everyday life here in Coolgardie that the streets of this beautiful town were designed to allow camel trains to turn around. Come on, Noel, let's roll. An estimated 11,000 camels were imported into Australia between 1860 and 1905 and used as draft animals and an alternative method of transport. Speed humps meant something different back then. The first camels came into the country via South Australia. Uh -huh. and they actually were transported across the, the Nullarbor. At the camel farm, visitors can try their hand at riding camels and overnight camel treks are available by arrangement. But if we really want to get a good idea of how folks lived back in the early 1900s, then there is one place we can't miss out on seeing. The Ward Infinity House was built for Coolgardie's first residential magistrate and mining warden. Built in 1895, this exquisite dwelling is both practical and opulent. To guide us through the Ward Infinity House is local bushman, prospector and poet, Vic Dale. So can you tell me a little bit about the, about the house here? Oh, beautiful house, mate. Beautiful house it was built by the Bunnings brothers. How big a job is the mining warden? Oh, it's huge. He is the chief warden. So all problems, and, and that includes Kalgoorlie for a number of years, oh, wow. he, he administrates everything. Come on up through here, Sam. There's some beautiful old things in this building. Have oh, a look wow. in here. Here we've got the Coolgardie safe. Oh, Sam, we grew up with these things. The tray here is full of water. The flannels on the, on the edge carry the small amount of water down over the bag. And inside there, my mum would set jellies. In Coolgardie, there is something around every corner. You've got to check out posters and memorabilia at Signs of the Past. It's a real treat. If you want to take a step back in time, I can't recommend Coolgardie highly enough. Now, uh, where'd I park my camel? 